Hello there, welcome to my channel. This is Reading Off My Shelf and I am Angela. First of all, can I apologise? Two things. First of all, I seem to be having a reflection off the window, which is in front of me. And that's reflecting my glasses, but I've took my glasses off. <laughs> and which brings me to the second point. I do suffer with anxiety and depression and I'm having a little bit of a depressive period at the moment. I was going to not film this, but thought... No, do it. Doesn't care what you look like. Just try your best and yeah, it'll distract your mind. So yes, if I had my glasses off, I didn't look too good. Um, so you can see from the title, this is my fairy loop box, and this is the September September box, yes. It does get a bit confusing because sometimes fairy loop does take a wee while to come. So yes. It seemed to have gone back to the um the brownie box like the cardboard boxy kind of colour because they had got the they used to be the black box then went to this one then they seem to have gone they did have a black one anyway let's have a look stop waffling um i haven't opened it so there we've got we're gonna have a look and also because i was trying to get a position for sitting i am sitting on a bean bag so i'm trying not to to move my bum too much so i don't squeak now oh that seems to have a book at the top so we'll move that across there and have a look what we've got here so um as in recent months they've gone i think this is the second month where we've gone to four items in the fairy loop box you used to get five so the first item is i think we've had a couple of these actually the tins yes definitely one i want to see it two uh quite pretty i can't remember what i did with the last one i think I, I think it's possibly i think it's on my bookshelf um and that says what is it death was her poison and all she wanted was to consume more so yes quite pretty like more greeny colors sort of not i was gonna say florally but more split oh i can't see it as I've said before, I can't pronounce things. Botanical, that's what I was trying to think of, wasn't I? Yeah, so yeah, I quite like that one. The other one we've got is blue. Still not find anything to put it in. I might use it at work, actually, but anyway. And then, oh, what looks like, oh, another blanket. Oh, so six crimson cranes. The uh, a blanket. Oh. <clears throat> I can't even get it out. <laughs> Let's just take the the bit of. Now I'm not going to be able to get this all on screen, am I? But let me have a look and see what it. And it lasts now. We're getting this box a wee while. I, I, I recognise the books a little bit. Sometimes I haven't read them, but I've got them on my shelf. Um, so what it's gonna be difficult. It says we've got some cranes at the top, and then oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Can you tell that it looks like a, a dragon at the bottom? So, yes, very nice, lovely for having on your lap. So that's item two. Don't put them too far away, right? And then what have we got? These <laughs> these things get everywhere. Take the other couple of things out. So oh, uh, coasters. So these are designed by Stella Bookish. So these are. <laughs> botanical which is what i was trying to say before so obviously that is a theme of the box because that's why i thought that looked quite and i am never going to be able to pronounce the 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 plant names i can pronounce that one belladonna isn't that was that in um practical magic i think i mentioned that so we've got this one Now I would say hellebore, but I, I probably I must apologise if I butchered that. That one's nice. I do like a coaster. 
then nightshade i've heard of that one so these are these um i was gonna say not herbs but kind of things used in magic for potions etc and then we have foxglove so that's nice isn't it pretty i do like a coaster like i say um whether or not i'll use these for my cups i don't know but we'll we'll have a look but very handy so we've got those and my jar just put that down there and my blanket and then this is the doing i was gonna say collection of trinket trays so i think this must be the next one in the i say series but uh, no idea who he is but that doesn't mean to say anything artwork that says holly black i can't remember if they're all themed from the art the same book holly black books but there we go i don't know so i glint in too much trying to so it's quite pretty i think again these are on i have got them out somewhere i think again i think they're on the main bookshelves and then finally because i've tried not to move because me um so me thing doesn't see i can't really think what i'm sitting on now bean bag i'm just checking there's nothing else in the bottom of there right <clears throat> so then we've got the tarrant cards which is the hanging man and death to be truthful i never do anything with these probably got them in the box somewhere we'll move that there i'll move it somewhere I'll tidy up in a minute and then when we've got the fairy loot well, that's i like that art card which is the farewell my love so that's the theme of the book the box spoiler card so botanic coasters as she reaches down i mean this is quite good for being able to get things so we've got the coasters on the table we've got so what else so what does it say about the coasters these coasters will transport you right into the ancient apocalypse i can't even say it now pockery to uh to be careful of the poisonous flowers apothecary apothecary yeah is that pronounced there you get used to me um and then we've got the trinket dish which is all right to complete our character trinket dish collection with a bang we have presented you with the beloved prince cardan from the flock of the air series holly black there we go put that one down there then we've got oh right so this is bella donna on the tin a stunning tea tin inspired by our featured book of the month just a wait which awaits you at the bottom of the of this box so where uh, just get these fortunately bella donna's at the top so these together didn't realize didn't recognize them both but there we go um and then we have the blanket <coughs> i'm not unfolding it all again which is the blanket features artwork inspired by six crimson cranes by elizabeth Lim. a tarrant card of the month are the hanging man the death and um, death as in as a as the death card all right so the the characters are from belladonna and my phone's ringing i will be back okay hope that wasn't too disjointed because first i couldn't turn it off right so back so the book so we've gone through the spoiler card yes and we were talking about the tarot cards right so then to the book ah, that's a fairy scoop we've got oh so the 
the um, bookmark. It's got the same artwork as the the card there, so that's nice. I like that picture anyway. Fairy scoop that I'll tell you about next month. Author's letter, and then it is, which kind of doesn't surprise me, the title of the book because we've had it mentioned a couple of times in the thing, and it is Bella Donna. Her name is no curse. Sorry, your name is no curse, little bird. Just like the taste of it. So that's pretty. And then we've got the edges. Very I almost I was gonna say gothic y um cold demons curled up kind of vibe on the cover isn't it like very dark and mysterious and birds on here I hope people haven't got four little birds anyhow and then we've got oh we've got the end pages very mysterious man presumably she's belladonna and then oh what's a bit masquerade at the back Oh, and then the hardcover. I've just realised there. Look at the hardcover. It's the same as the paper one. The the the, the, the uh, dust jacket. That's nice. I like that. Oh, that's very pretty. Because sometimes I think if you the dust jacket gets torn or anything, you've right. So let me see if I can decipher what this is about. So it's a, uh, for as long as Saiga Farrow has been alive, the people in her life have fallen like stores. Stores, you see what I mean? I've mentioned this before about things coming out the wrong way. Falling like stars. Orphaned as a baby, 19 year old, Saina has been raised by a string of guardians. More each more interested in her wealth than her well being, and each has met an untimely end. Her remaining relatives, the Hawthorns, live family living at Thorn Grove, an estate both glittery and gloomy. I'm just trying to skim through it. Oh, so presumably they've lost. Oh, so they must have lost. They've lost the mistress of the house when their mother, restless spirit, appear appears, claiming she was poisoned. So that must be the master of the house. So when, the, so when their mother's restless spirit appears claiming she's been poisoned, Sega, Sega realises that the family she depends on could be in grave danger and enlists the help of the stable boy to hunt down the killer. Ooh. And it's a chance to uncover the murder. It's very nice. I'm showing you the... Can you, Bit. I'm not very good at describing books and I try not to read the full thing because it'll take ages but I do ramble on. Anyway, I have rambled on far too much. Really pleased with it. It's an okay kind of box for me. Love the look of the book. Love the um, sound of that. I will use the coaster. Do love the um, bookmark. Got the trinket box. Um, I wasn't saying nothing particularly new, different designs to other ones. We've got the well as um we've got the tea caddy legacy. I don't use it for tea, um, but it will get used for something. So it's kind of recurring items, different designs. I don't I'm not saying that. I've never had coasters before. So yeah, it's it, it, it's okay. I, I I did like last month's box and we've had some good ones, but you you know, not every box is a winner. Um, what does that say there? That's just the next month's theme is sell your soul. Ooh. Um, we've got an interview with the author here. 
And it just says that the addition of Belladonna comes with exclusive colour, cover sprayed, stencil sprayed edges signed by the author. Artwork printed on the hard cover and artwork on the end pages. So let's have a, I mean, there's a signature or a, is it sort of a stamped signature or what does it say there? Anyway, pleased with that. Sorry if I've rambled on too much. All that makes sense because I know, you know, I'm just getting used to it and I'm getting used to speaking to you. So do take care. I know this is rambled. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of this month's box of fair, fairy loot. I was actually talking to somebody during the month who was signed up for the waiting list of fairy loot. And a fellow book lover. Anyway, I've rambled too long. Take care. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again in another video. Thank you. Bye.